Hey everyone, uh, welcome to day three of my VR Jam game. Uh, not too much added since I've been a bit busy with work and stuff. Uh, this is Dev Diary 2 for those keeping track. Uh, biggest difference here is that I have added in Razor Hydra support. So uh, this is actually fairly easy to do. You can just go to the Unity Asset Store and they have a six cents uh, input package there. And it's pretty much all ready to go, hands included. Um, the only difference thing difference I did here was uh, I have childed them to my waist, so I can rotate with the connect and they will come with me, um, which makes it fairly handy. And I can still look forward and move over here and do whatever, and then also I can straight up turn around, walk over somewhere, and do whatever else there. Uh, the only problem with using the connect for the rotation is that when I rotate more than say 70 degrees, it starts to think. Uh, oh shit, has he turned around or is he facing forward? And then once I get to like 90 degrees greater, it starts to think, okay, he's facing forward again, despite the fact that I'm backs facing the camera, uh, which is a bit confusing and really puts the hands off. So what I'm going to eventually do is uh, mount the Hydra base onto a bike helmet um, and then just correct for the rotation. So if I'm looking over here, it'll know how much I've changed and the hands will basically stay facing forward unless I rotate my body as well. Um, at currently the, the Razor Hydra base is at the bottom of a bag which rotates with my body. Um, but yeah, because of the inaccuracy of the connect, it's obviously not ideal. Uh, other things I started to add are like uh, switches up here which are physics based. So this little switch here is on a hinge joint with a spring. So it'll always rest in that position and then I can write a script for, for you know, once, once the rotation reaches about here, the spring's maximum changes to the opposite direction, so it'll stay down that way. Play a sound effect, you know, lights come on, or you know, you've, you've engaged shields, or you've, you've turned on something. And uh, yeah, that actually works a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I never use this, this, the, this, the hinges or the joints at all in your end, they're quite good. Uh, other things I've added are uh, buttons and stuff like that, so you know, you can walk up to the button. And then with the collision of a hand, you can kind of go, you know, whoop, uh, you can kind of flip through the screen stuff. It's a bit janky at the moment, again, just because the, the six sense hands aren't great for, for collisions. But I uh, like that when you tap a button, you can, you know, there's internal sensors there, which can track around my movement and stuff like that. And then you, know, you can walk up and you could whack it again. There's external sensors. Uh, you, know, you can whack this button over here. And there's the next screen changing and you can just have so the idea is going to basically be figure out a layout here for where everything's going to go uh, it's probably going to be navigation ish stuff here i don't want to have it like an actual joystick because uh, that'll be insanely impossible to control but kind of figure out a layout put some buttons have some levers and stuff like that um there is the, the grounds of the the computer system there so you know you could have basically engines there and once your engines are up to 50 percent that increases your chance of evasion and then you know you could hit a button for you know evasive maneuvers and then a button for a pattern and then you know that increases your chance for evasion as well and you know you could be in an asteroid field and some of that and also have a nice hefty starship bridge here so speaking of asteroids I was thinking if you were to get hit in any sci-fi show you've ever seen like Star Trek or Star Wars or even Stargate Star everything um, when they take a hit, you know, from from whatever the, the whole the ship moves around, and you know they can't do whatever they're going to do, or because it's just too turbulent. So, you know, I'm thinking if you're not holding onto anything, that happens where the computer's going to shout, you know, okay, something's about to hit you. It's this distance away. Brace for impact. Put your hand out over here. Grab on. Put your hand out over here. Grab on. And once you're grabbed on, you know, you're stabilized, so the shaking shouldn't be too bad, and then you don't feel as disoriented as you might be otherwise. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, time to shut this thing down.